everyone. This is my final recipe that I need to get freeze dried for the cookbook that's going to be coming out very soon when you view this. And uh, we are going to do tail on sh cooked shrimp cocktail. And I have spent quite a bit of time, several different loads, trying to perfect my homemade cocktail sauce uh, for the shrimp for the shrimp so let's do the easy part first I got three bags of one pound each tail on cooked shrimp and I got the uh, does it say what size it is on here it doesn't really say what size I guess but it's a 51 to 60 shrimp per pound so I'm going to make 10 pouches. I'm looking at getting 50, uh, 15 pieces per pouch. So I got three bags, three one pound bags. And all I am going to do is put those on a tray like that. break apart these ones that I can if I can't break them like I spend a lot of time on it and that's all I'm going to do is one pound per tray now these are the tails on and I've tried them freeze dried them and you'd be amazed watch the video if they come out pretty good so let me get these other bags two bags set up and be right back all right so the here's my tray so these are cooked pre-cooked peeled tail on shrimp so we're not gonna have to do anything to these other than freeze dry them and eat them and reconstitute them and eat them so let me get these into the freezer and we'll move on to the fun part okay so as we went along, I wrote my recipe down. So first thing we're going to do, juice from one lemon, which we are going to dump in our bowl. All right, so there's my puree in there. Four teaspoons of sugar. The juice from this lemon, obviously. Now I'm using lemon because vinegar is not good for your freeze dryer. So if I can avoid it, I avoid it. Don't ask me why. Pumps, vacuum pumps are expensive. I just got a little strainer here. Pour that in there and get rid of all that seeds and stuff. One half teaspoon of salt. One quarter teaspoon of black pepper. half teaspoon of ground mustard one half teaspoon of oregano leaves ground oregano leaves where's that at there it is One half teaspoon of cayenne. Now, if you don't like heat, you might want to leave this out. But I think it tastes pretty nice with it. One 
one teaspoon of onion powder. I'll get that onion flavor in there. One half teaspoon of garlic powder. Garlic going in. And one quarter teaspoon of celery salt. Alright, that's a lot of spices, but that's what we come up with. We're going to put one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. I should know how to say that. I lived long enough in England. But it's still a mouthful. So one tablespoon of that going in. Now this is what they call prepared horseradish. And we are going to use between two and three tablespoons. This is a half a tablespoon, so one, half, one, one, half, two, there's two and a half, and let's see what that tastes like. Oh, yeah. You don't want to overdo the horseradish, but you don't want to underdo it because I found that it lost a little bit of its kick once you freeze dried it. Let's see how much it made. Pretty close to two cups. That's one and three quarters cups. All right. So, you can serve that just like that. But since we're freeze drying it, and to make it easier to powder, that was one and three quarters cups of the finished product. I'm going to add one cup of water to that just to thin it out which makes it a lot easier to powderize once it's freeze-dried. Alright, get that all mixed up. So you want to get the flavor right, obviously, before you thin it out. And when we reconstitute it, obviously we're going to reconstitute it a lot thicker than this. So we'll take our tray out here and pour that on the tray. And that's all there is to it. I'll get this in the freezer, frozen solid, and once it it's frozen solid. We'll fire up the freeze dryer and freeze dry this along with the shrimp. Next time you see all this, it'll be coming out. I'll see you then. And there we go. There's my shrimp all freeze dried and my cocktail sauce all freeze dried. That took just over 30 hours in my, with my new pump. I'm thinking that's making a huge difference. So. To get these out of the humidity real quickly, I am just going to put these shrimp in a Ziploc bag. And we're going to pack the shrimps in a bit. But I just want to kind of get them out of the humidity while we spend a little more time with my sauce. that shut as much air as that as I can and we're gonna set those off to the side and this is my cocktail sauce 
I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but obviously you want to, in my opinion, line your tray so that none of this sticks. See how easy that comes out? I'm just going to break that up and put it in my Ziploc bag. Oh yeah, nice and airy. handy dandy rolling pin and see by adding that water see how easy that we diluted this really down with water and that just makes it so much easier to powderize and I like doing it in this Ziploc bag you probably heard me say it before because as I crush this up into powder if any of that was not dry I would see it and notice it immediately because there'd be clumps in there but we don't have that we got nice fine powder pull that air out while we get everything else ready set that off to the side Okay, what I'm going to do, I got, I'm going to make 10 pouches, so I'm going to put, make 10 of these little cups for the salt cocktail sauce. We're going to put one, half, two, half, uh, one tablespoon of powder in each little cup. Make ten of those. One. Two. All right, let me get this cleaned up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got the little plastic tubs from my local supermarket. I think Walmart sells them. You can get them on Amazon. And uh, not much to say about those. They ain't that expensive. Then I got these shrink wrap bags. And they are two different types. One of them is a POF type. Can you see that? POF means it's food grade and it'll say food grade on there. I got these listed in my uh, Amazon store, but just make sure you get the POF. You don't want the the plastic ones because they are not food safe. The POF is food safe. And these are 4 by 6s So, I know this is a lot of extra work to do it this way, but I just thought, think it would be nice to have a little tub to dip my shrimp in. I could have just put this powder in a Ziploc bag and we could re have reconstituted it in the Ziploc bag that way. But this would be a much more convenient for me, I think. So I just pop it inside the bag like that. I got my heat sealer turned all the way up. I put that in there and I gently pull on that as it's heating up and it cuts it. Then I take my heat gun, turn that on, let that get nice and hot, and then I just shrink wrap that, and you don't get too close to it, just shrink, shrink wrap that on there, like that. you see it tighten up you know it's pretty good and that's all there is to it so let me get these all done up and I'll be right back it's a pretty quick little process it'll make all the difference when we're eating it because now we have something to mix or dip in 
All right, let me let this cool down, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we got those all ready. I'm now going to open these up. And each pouch, if you recall, it was like 51, I think, to 60 pieces per bag. So the math should be 15 pieces, and I should have some left over. So I'm going to put 15 shrimp in each pouch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and one of these. And one more time for the camera to make sure I'm in it. Let's see. Can you see what I'm doing here? I'm going to put 15 in. 1, 2, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and one of those. Well, let me get these all done, and I'll be right back. Okay, I had enough left over to make another pouch, and then a few left over, so I just even those out. I'm going to go ahead and make up another little cup of the cocktail sauce. With that, what I had left over. Now, if I'd have been thinking, I bought some of these mini craft wood sticks for the sole purpose of putting these in with my pouches here. So we got something to stir with, but I, what I should have done is taking one of those sticks and put it in with the cup before I sealed it like that. Hold on, let me get this sealed up and I'll show you. And that gives you a nice little stir and a stick with that. But I didn't do that, so let's drop one of these sticks in each one of these bags and we'll have to fish it out when we reconstitute. So I've got one in there. One. One more thing to do, and that is put my 300cc O2 absorbers in there. One in each pouch. One, two. I'll do a heat seal on these, and I'll be right back. Right, that's them all sealed up. Let me turn this off. We'll let this cool down. I'll get those put away and I'll be right back. Okay, there we have it. My 11 meal pouches of tail on shrimp with cocktail, homemade cocktail. Freeze dried and ready to go into long term storage. So let me get these put away and we'll open one up and show you the reconstitution. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, let's get this open and see the magic of a Harvest Right freeze dryer. Alright, that's what we got inside. Here's my O2 absorber, my cocktail sauce, Somewhere in here is a stick. Can I not put one in this one? There it is. Yeah, you definitely want to put that in, seal that in with the uh, shrink wrap. All right, let's get this opened up. So we had one tablespoon of powder. I'm going to put one tablespoon of liquid. This is cold water. So 
So it's one on one is what I think I came up with. Let's give that a little mix. We might thin that out just a little bit once uh, the shrimp is rehydrated. So, um, this is one cup of water. That's the uh, one tablespoon. I'm just going to add the cold water to my shrimp. Like such. And we're going to ziplock it shut. of the air as possible. Okay. That is Ziploc shut. Give it a little shake. Make sure everything's got some water on it. We're going to let that sit for five minutes. So I'll see you in five minutes. Okay, that's been five minutes. And I think that's just a little bit thin or thick. So I'm going to add a little bit more water to that for dipping. Now let's get our shrimp out. What I'm going to do is drain that cold water off into a cup here just to get rid of it. Now, we're going to dump that shrimp out on this paper towel, kind of blot it. Let me get a close-up of that. All right. That's it. Let's begin and see what the texture is like. So there's my shrimp with the tail. Dip it in my sauce. sauce it pops right out of the tail everything on that shrimp has come back perfect texture the little bit that's in the tail is a little bit chewy I could have left that another minute or two just to make sure that that pops out but I'm happy with that oh yeah Rehydrated perfectly except for that little bit that's tucked in that tail shell. And of course we could solve that problem by getting them with the tails off. But I thought it was nice to be able to hold on to the uh, tail and eat your shrimp. shrimp. Shrimp texture is beautiful. I'm just amazed that with cold water that comes back so well. Well, and here's the last one. Bottoms up. There you have it. Now I took about four different loads to try and get this cocktail sauce to my likings. Another fine one from John and Bibbs. I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you next time.